Hey guys, this is Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be making some light up gift boxes or presents. So what you're gonna need is almost everything is from the Dollar Tree except for my, of course, my glue gun and glue sticks. I've been having this forever and my scissors, the E6000, which you don't need, but you could use if you have it already. And then my tape, which you can get from the Dollar Tree as well. I ran out of my scotch tape, so I'm just using this. And to make the actual gift box, I'm gonna show you two ways that you could do it. You can use frames from the Dollar Tree, which I'm sure you've seen tons of people make lanterns out of these frames. You can use small ones like this, or if you wanna make a bigger present, you can do it like that too. If you wanna make small little gift boxes, you can use these, I believe they're like tea lights. And this is in a perfect square, so you can use these from the Dollar Tree. And then we are going to use this ribbon. You know, and they have this thick ribbon that you want that you can um, see through. So I just have the gold and some plaid right here. And of course my lights from the Dollar Tree. And then I just have this box. They sell some little boxes at the Dollar Tree too, but I've already had this on hand. I'm gonna use this to wrap the lights around it and then stick in the present or gift box. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so the first way I'm going to show you is with the picture frames. So this is super easy and I'm just gonna show you real quick just because in case there are a few people that have not seen how to make these framed lanterns, you just want to open it up. You want to take everything out now you can either leave the glass on or off. I would say leave it on because when you do put the ribbon over it, the ribbon will stay in place instead of like kind of sinking in. Once you put these back down, it's kind of loose still, the glass. So what you can do is just add a line of glue all around. That way the glass won't move. If you want this to be really sturdy, you can add a line of E6000 all around and then add a line of hot glue. Or you can use, just use hot glue, it's up to you. So once you do that, you just put this back down and then what you're gonna do is just basically glue them like this. So all you're going to do is just add a line of glue right here the same way with E6000 and then hot glue on top and then glue it like that and then make your square and you only need four frames so once you do that you're going to end up with this what i'm going to do is just take my ribbon and i'm going to take a piece and make sure it overlaps the top like that and then go all the way down and make sure it overlaps a little bit at the bottom so about right there and once I cut that, I can make all of my strips of ribbon this size. I'm already used to the hot glue, so I just kind of dab it like that. If you're not, you can easily just use like your scissors to like tap it down instead of using your fingers. So it's just up to you. Now bring it like that because now instead of just gluing the bottom part right here, we wanna make sure this is down. So we wanna put a line of glue right here too. Okay, and then now we're gonna do the same thing on this side.
Once you have it with ribbon all around the box, now we're just going to uh, put the three pieces of ribbon at the top. So now I'm just gonna measure it out how big we need that part. And then of course, we're gonna leave the bottom open. Take my gold ribbon and put it around the present as if it were wrapped like a gift. And then I will make a Christmas bow on the top. You're gonna need two pieces like this because you're gonna cross this on the gift box. So lift up one side and just do the same thing we did with this ribbon, just glue it under. Then pick it up and wrap it all the way around to the other side. And then glue under here. Okay, and then do the same thing with the other ribbon this way. So you're gonna cross it like that. Okay, so to do the bow, I just uh, grabbed the rest of my gold ribbon and folded it in half. And then I'm just going to cross it like this. And then bring this part down like that to make those loops. And then just kind of bend these together. Just like that. And then you can just grab any kind of string and wrap it around there. This is the easiest way to make the bow for me because I know there's other ways to do this, but I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay, now for the fun part. You remember that white box that I had? We're gonna go ahead and wrap the lights. So I just been having these boxes since last year. You can find little boxes at um, the Dollar Tree, like I said, and even if it's not this tall, you can maybe stack another little one on top, depending on how high you want the lights to go up. So now once I have the box, I'm just gonna take my lights. I'm gonna turn it on and then just stick this in here. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around on the sides like that. And then I'm just gonna put a piece of tape right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take another strand of lights. So if you want, you can uh, just put them all like that and then just add a little piece of tape at the top. And then all you do is just take your box and put it on the top like that. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that looks. Okay, so I just turned the lights off so you can see. So, so pretty. Okay, so I went ahead and wrapped this one with the ribbon the exact same way I did this one. This was the one with the tea light inside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this red ribbon and glue it on here the same way I did this gold ribbon on the big one.
and then just take a little piece of this ribbon maybe if you want to fold it in half and then just put it glue it over that and then you can cut off the extra okay so once I have the ribbon on there all I have to do is just turn it on sit this in here on the side right here get the lights and this is why I didn't remove this little tea glass because all you have to do is put this inside around it on top of it and on the side and that way you don't have to put anything in here so the lights can kind of stay up and not just um, sit at the bottom of the box so just like that so obviously you can add more lights if you want it's up to you but I just think they look perfect and so so cute so this just gets me super excited and I just can't wait to start decorating already for Christmas so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe so I'll see you in the next video bye guys